Yeah, that's my. Uh, to talk just about the Blackhawk fish population real quick. In 1979, after the renovation, we had uh, the uh, uh, sport fish were really coming on. We had real good luck. With, with, uh, the dominant fish in the lake were like catfish and uh, crappies and still a lot of bullheads, but also uh, quite a number of walleyes. We had a real good game fish population that, uh, that uh, people enjoyed quite a lot back in the 80s. And just gradually since then, the uh, carp population has continued to grow, and it has affected both the water and it has affected the uh, game fish population. We, until now, in this time period, we have uh, uh, probably a dominant rough fish population, but still have pretty good fishable game fish populations, except for one, in the last few years, the, the walleye has really, from our, you've seen it in our surveys and monitoring, we thought we've also heard comments from fishermen that they feel that they haven't been having nearly luck with walleye. And I think that species has taken a uh, particular drop the last, last two years. So uh, we're hoping to get things turned around both with, with all the techniques and all the methods that John, John talked about and also the, uh, the carp management me methods and rough fish management methods we have. Uh, and after, if we would get the carp population in control with these techniques, we'll, uh, we, uh, we will probably immediately stop extra uh, predator fish. Uh, all the different predator fish we could use, big largemouth or uh, large fingerling, largemouth bass and walleyes, in hopes of keeping the uh, carp population, the young carp, from, uh, uh, from being able to reach a, any size and keep the carp population under, under control. I hope we'll get the fishing back a little better in the next few years. Thanks a lot.